Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christy. Oh wow, my hair is looking fly. Today I am doing another little day in my life, weekend in Chicago type vibe. So right now Barak and I are walking to the farmer's market in Hyde Park. I am so excited because my favorite coffee shop in Hyde Park that has been closed for most of the pandemic is reopened for their full hours and I'm so excited. So we are going there, it's called Build Coffee. We're gonna see if they're doing any food options. They used to do really good bagels and stuff. So we're just gonna see what they have, check out the farmer's market, so let's go. Oh, also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so below, it really does help me out. And if you subscribe and put the bell for notifications, you'll get notifications of when I am posting, usually with crazy hair, so. <laughs> I'm so happy that my favorite Hyde Park coffee shop is back open for their full hours. Everything they make is so good, and today I got an iced mocha and Barsh got an iced cardamom rose latte, both of which were perfect. Their pastries are supplied by another Chicago favorite of ours, Butter Dough, and today we got one cinnamon sugar donut to share. Finally, we shared the Francis breakfast sandwich, and wow, was this good. It was a fried egg with garlic, ginger, scallion, Korean red pepper flakes, and tomato on sourdough bread. It was absolutely delicious. So we went to the farmer's market basically with the intention to get a coffee and maybe a couple things, and wow, we really made it happen. I'll just show you guys really quick what we got. There was a local farm that sold a bunch of meat, so we got fresh farm eggs from them. Getting fresh farm eggs is totally worth it because they are actually so different from store-bought eggs. They're so good. We also got goat kebab meat, which Barish was over the moon excited about. We also stopped at a stand called Jenny's Tofu, and we got a spicy stir-fry tofu salad that looks absolutely amazing. I guess this is their best seller. We also stopped at the River Valley Ranch Tent and got this spinach and artichoke dip mix, which we've had before. It is so good. We also got this wild mushroom burgundy pasta sauce to try. It looks super good too. We also stopped by Joe's Farm Stand. We've gotten this before. It is their lavender lime blueberry preserves. Oh my gosh, it is so good. They don't add any sweeteners to it, but it tastes absolutely phenomenal. So we got this one. The lavender lime is definitely my favorite. We also got some treats for Lucy because they make them using Whole Foods, so cute. Our big stop was at this place called Serrano's On The Go. I don't know if this stand was at the farmer's market last year, but he is a French chef. It's literally Serrano. I think that's how you pronounce it, but he is the man there at the tent. He is a French chef. The food there looked unreal. Look at this wedge of cheese. It is brie cheese with a gorgonzola cheese in the middle. Are you kidding? We also got this black and green olive tapenade, which I don't like olives, but Barish loves them, so he will love this. We also got his wild mushroom soup. Looks amazing. This is some sort of beet tomato olive salad, which again, Barish will love. I will eh, I probably won't try it. I don't like olives. He also had a whole bunch of entrees there that are frozen that he literally made, handcrafted. And he freezes them and then you can cook them at home. And this is the beef bourguignon. And let me tell you, he had cacovan and a bunch of other French dishes. And I think that is so amazing that you can get like amazing French cooking and you just cook this at home. He literally has it all prepared, veggies, meat, everything in there. So we might make this tonight. I think we're gonna have a farmer's market dinner tonight, but I am so excited about all these things. Happy Sunday, you guys. I am currently walking to Te Amo Boba Bar to get a milk tea. Barsh and I are gonna share one. We just made and ate dinner at home. We've had the laziest Sunday of all time. Truly just sat at home, worked on a couple things, hung out, just got back from my camping trip. So I feel dead inside. We had the best time, but man, I am tired. Feels so good to be home. We are going to walk Lucy in the park. And then Barsh and I are probably going to go by the lake and hang out a little bit before we just hang out at home for the rest of the night. I got the Okinawa. That's my favorite at this place. Look at them bobas. It 
it is now Monday. I brought Lucy up to Ravenswood for a vet appointment. Ravenswood's a really cute little neighborhood. I should do a video about this area. Like the buildings and the flowers. I'm seriously dying at all of the colorful flowers in front of all of these apartment buildings. I think I'm gonna find a place to pick up some coffee after Lucy's appointment. We're literally just walking the block waiting for them to call us to let us come in. So I think I'm gonna find some coffee. I have a dentist appointment later, super fun stuff. Um, yeah, need to try to get some video editing done for tomorrow. And that's basically it today. But yeah, let's try finding a coffee place. Okay, I just left the vet. Story time. Lucy's fine, everything's great, her leg looks great. Um, I had brought her in for them to check the incision by where she had her knee surgery, but also because I found this like black bump on her skin. First I thought it was a tick, but it wasn't. And so of course I Googled it and spiraled and thought she had cancer. Um, it was a scab. She literally got a cut and it was a scab. And I cried about it multiple times yesterday. Love that for me. <laughs> So anyway, Lucy's great, I'm thrilled. Um, now I am gonna go to a place called Hurricane Coffee. It's a coffee shop in Ravenswood. I have never been there. So I'm really excited. I just ordered an iced latte for pickup. So I'm gonna go check it out. I think it might be a Cuban coffee shop. So let's see, I'm very excited. It is now Wednesday. I don't think I checked in at all yesterday, which was Tuesday, obviously if today's Wednesday. It is in the morning. I'm very tired, <laughs> but I'm going to a nail appointment. I'm so excited to get my nails done. My feet majorly need a pedicure. It's a situation, um, but I'm excited to get it done. I'll show you guys where I get my nails done. I always get it done at Zen Nails in Lincoln Park. They are phenomenal. I almost don't want to share them here because I don't want them to get even busier than they are right now. They're amazing. But I stopped at the Bagler, which is also in Lincoln Park. I got an iced vanilla latte. It's pretty good. A little sweet, but that's okay. And then I also got us uh, some croissants. I got me a chocolate croissant and I got Barish a almond croissant. I'm gonna take that home to him after. Okay, I'll have to show you when I get it all unwrapped. I'm gonna try to eat it really quick before I go in there. Today's actually gonna be a pretty busy day. After my nail appointment, I'm gonna go home and try to get a video edited very fast. For tomorrow and then I'm going with Barish. He has a dentist appointment up here in Lincoln Park so I'm going to come with him so we can get dinner afterwards. So I'll take you guys along with all of those things. In the meantime, let's go get my nails done. <laughs> a beautiful chocolate croissant. She's stunning, honestly. <laughs> This red is what's on my toes. So it's all coordinated. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. I love the little gradient. It took me 10 years to figure out the colors. <laughs> I was inspired by Mariska Hargitay's manicure that she posted on Instagram. If you are an SVU fan like me, you will also be obsessed with Mariska. Um, but she did like pinks and reds multicolor and I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. So that's what I did. But yeah, shout out to Joyce at Zen Nails for doing this for me and being so patient while I picked my colors. Some of my nails were bitten down, so we made them all the short length. I know it's a horrible habit to bite your nails. That's why I like to keep mine done because then I don't bite them, but I'm excited for the next time I go, they'll be longer and I think we're going to do a design. So, so cute. Dreaming of you. Barish is currently in the dentist's office for his appointment and I'm just waiting for him in the car. I'm doing some video editing while I wait for him and then we're gonna go to dinner. Okay, look 
I mean, that's insane. So we decided that we were going to go to our favorite Monty's, which they're just doing pickup location right now. Whoa. Barsh gets the Rocky, which is a spicy cheesesteak sandwich. We both get fries. I get the original Philly cheesesteak. These are hands down the best Philly cheesesteaks I've had outside of Philadelphia and my hometown of Pennsylvania. Shout out Rosalie's. Every time, every time we have it there, we compare. Is this better or that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And these are really good. So we decided to do that. So we're in our car chatting and eating. Delicious. Thursday brought something a little different to my week and I headed to Valparaiso, Indiana to spend the day with my mom and the evening with my sister. My mom and I hit up some favorite shops of ours like Astor and Gray and my sister and I went to an Eli Young band show right in downtown Valpo. It was a blast. Sunday everyone. Barsh and I are super amped because Stan's Donuts just opened this weekend in Hyde Park and while we love donuts we love La Colombe coffee more. Isn't that right Barsh? Yes. So the fact that we can now get draft lattes La Colombe right here shooketh. So that's what we did. We went to La Colombe to get uh, iced draft lattes and now we are going to pick up Barsh's grandma. We're going to take her to brunch lunch. I don't know what we're calling it but Today's gonna be a pretty chill Sunday. Um, after lunch, we're gonna come home and be productive. I wanna do some organizing, so I'll show you guys the organizers that I got. Organizer haul, so exciting. So yeah, let's go eat some food. For lunch, we took Barish's grandma to Turkish Cafe Tea House on Lawrence. It was our first time there, and wow, we were blown away by how good the food was, especially given how inexpensive it was. We also shared Lama June, which is like a Turkish version of pizza, and it was so good and literally half the price of other restaurants would typically get it from. We also shared the kofta entree that was served with rice and grilled vegetables, as well as the shepherd salad. We finished the meal with baklava and Turkish tea, and it was truly the best Turkish meal I've had in a while. After doing a little shopping with grandma and taking her home, we passed by Miko's Italian Ice, a Chicago staple we have yet to try, so we had to pull over to get some ice to share. We ordered ours with half lemon and half watermelon, and you guys, you could literally taste how fresh the fruit flavors were. I could tell just by the first taste that they use fresh fruit and not artificially flavored syrups. We liked both flavors, but the lemon was just incredible. So after we had lunch with Barge's grandma, she wanted to go to the mall. So we went to the mall, went to a few stores. It was super fun. And now we're home and it's just been a way longer day than anticipated. So it is like 7.30 now. I'm trying to figure out how to spend some time being productive. I guess I'll show you guys what I got at the mall and I'll show you my organizers that I got at Home Goods. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do some organization in my closet and my jewelry right now. Cause basically what I'm trying to do is get rid of everything I don't want or use. And I'm gonna be vicious about it because I'm sick of the clutter. Like I want there to be a place for everything, if you know what I mean. Everything should have its place. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I guess I'll first show you the clothes that I got. The lighting is horrible, so it's hard to see, but I got this little black V-neck collar dress. It's very cute. I really like it. This is shockingly from Rue 21. I never shop in there, but I happen to see this and it's just super cute and easy and classy and chic. Then, we went into Old Navy and I don't even know how this happened, but I managed to get sale prices plus 50% off on everything. So this is a little cute palm printed crew neck and short set. I got these two dresses. So they are both midi length, but they have a slit in the side and they just fit really cute. And they kind of have like this muscle tank type look at the top, a little crew neck and then they're sleeveless. I got one in olive green. This is not coming off as the true color, but it's kind of like an olive green color. And then I got a blue tie-dyed one because it just, I don't know, it was so 90s to me and so summery. So I really like this. That's all I got. So let me show you my home goods stuff really quick that I got a couple days ago. And then I don't know where this video is going from there. 
Okay, again, the lighting is atrocious. I'm so sorry. So my mom gave me two of these organizers with lids and I'm trying to figure out what I wanna use these for. I'm not quite sure yet. And then this little organizer, Lucy, you're so helpful. Uh, we're gonna use under, I think under um, our bedroom, bathroom sink for Barish's stuff. And then, excuse me, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> I also got this jewelry organizer, which I actually think I'm gonna organize my jewelry right now. Okay. All of this stuff is from Home Goods, by the way. So I think I'm gonna try to organize my jewelry into this right now and see if it'll all fit in here. I just like really need a way to streamline. Oops. I need a way to streamline my jewelry that's also easy to see everything that I have. So I'm hoping I can use this. And then for our linen closet, I'm hoping that I can make something work with these guys. I have five of them. I really want to use these for, I really want to use these for towels, sheets, all that good stuff. So I'm hoping that will work with that. And then lastly, I have this set of two that I think I'm going to use one for all of the extra soaps and candles that I have, and then another for our little first aid kit. Basically, I just want our closet space and all of our cabinets to be as organized as possible. So I'm hoping that doing this will make everything really easy access and easy to grab out of the closet. So this is probably a really boring way to end this vlog, showing you the containers that I bought, but it is Sunday and I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night organizing and then probably relaxing with Barish. So, so I think that's gonna be it for today's vlog. If you guys like these vlogs, let me know below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Could reach everyone, there be no wars. Mm -hmm.